Shut up and sit down. Hello, YouTube. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. Um, I got a question on one of my videos I made about the filament holder, about uh, how to use it and if I can demonstrate how to use it. And so I thought that was a great question. And uh, first off, thanks for watching. Um, that's amazing. I'm getting questions and uh, interaction here with the uh, folks that are watching. Um, if you have not already su subscribed to the channel, please uh, subscribe um, in the little logo down there. Just click on it, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Um, so what I'm going to show you real quick is I have a, a roll of filament here. I have the, uh, the, the little parts I'm going to show you how to put together, and then I am going to show you how to attach it. Um, so I'm not going to actually show you how to put it onto the machine uh, simply because uh, I got this webcam here and the machine's over there, and I won't be able to um, pan and tilt and get it all working and whatever, but I think you can use your imagination. So real quick, what do we got? Uh, we have... Uh, the the knot here um, that is the um, uh, not the knot I'm sorry this is the bolt <laughs> with the um, uh, bearings in it so that is the primary uh, part that sticks into the filament holder and I'll show you that in a minute okay and then um, then we have this part here which is the nut whoops it's a little slippery and uh, the bolt fits onto the nut just like this, and then you screw it on. Let me get one it up and just spin it on like that. See, works amazingly well. Now this is uh, this is printed in the Esun uh, Pet G Magenta. Um, I have not printed the, these parts in anything other, um, but uh, I found all the Pet G works pretty well. So um, uh, the the bearings here i just got off of um uh, amazon basically found the cheapest set that i could find i actually got uh eight or ten for like i don't know like ten twelve dollars eight dollars something like this plus shipping um i think there was shipping i don't remember if it was prime or not um but inexpensive um so anyway got that so these are the two primary parts let me reach over here i have a spool here of uh this is uh, Maker Geeks Crystal Series um, Pet G as well. It's yellow, uh, translucent, um, so it works pretty well. Uh, interesting thing about this um, filament holder um, is it's got this kind of like outside and inner circle. Um, all of the rest of the filament uh, spools I have look actually like this, which is um, you have the kind of inside diameter and whatever. So I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know what's going on why it's got this this kind of like indentation here uh, might have something to do with they use the same basic design and they alter the width or something doesn't really matter um, so what I do uh, to put this all together is first off I'm um, typically um, this guy is actually has the rod stuck through it and I got this rod at the local hobby store um, so it looks like this and it just sits on the machine in the little arms the arms stick up kind of like this um, and it just sits on the machine. Uh, um, I, I will uh, take a picture and, and uh, show you the picture um, when it's all on the machine, but get the kind of idea. And this, uh, you can see here, it just um, spins on on the on the rod here, pretty straightforwardly. Um, it's it's very nice and smooth. It's it's not too loose. It's not too tight. Um, it works well. So I just take the uh, the filament guy here. Let me slide back so you get a better shot. Um, slide it on to the end here where it kind of fits in. And I typically just hold it up like this. You can see how it kind of uh, sticks through. And then drop the nut on right here and spin it on until it tightens up like that. Um, and you can see how it just kind of fits in the hole. And as you tighten it up, it snugs up uh, both sides evenly. Um, and then it just sits there on the roll like this, right? And then you can see it spins nice and freely um, no squeaking, no whining, no moaning. Um, and then I take this and stick it on the little arm so it looks like this, right on the printer, um, and you're good to go. Um, and then as it, as it uh, spins, it lets it go. Um, what I have found is, um, just a matter of note, uh, uh, some of those spools are uh, not balanced very well. Um, and so, you know, if you spin it, this one actually seems to be fairly well balanced. Um, some of them over rotate, so the filament kind of spools off the end and kind of hangs in front of the printer. 
Uh, I, I look, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, it actually creates a little extra um, filament in front. Now for the Prusa I three Mark II <laughs> that I have, um, it's no big deal. The filament's not gonna get tangled in anything. Um, but uh, for other printers, it might be a problem. Um, you can also probably take the same design, this design, and create a base for it, um, which I might do actually, just for the heck of it. Um, design it, you can just kind of sit on your desk if you got like a Bowden or something like that. Um, but uh, this is it. I mean, that's kind of the basic idea. Um, Okay, so what you see in front of you here is actually a picture of the Esung Pet G uh, Magenta actually on the machine on the Prusa i3 Mark II. Uh, and you can see here the uh, the holder, um, the left and the right arms there, and then the rod going down through the middle. And you can see I made the rod a significantly longer than it needs to be, um, just in case I wanted to move the arms in and out, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then the, I think that's the screw on the left hand side there. Um, and then we'll switch over here to the right hand side. You can see the uh, nut on the other side. They're just, uh, again, screwed together very simply. And then you can see how the, the rod just snaps right down into the arm there. And then the, um, the arm comes down around the frame and then hooks around the bottom to give it some stability. Um, it's very straightforward. So if there are any questions, uh, you know, put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to address them. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, as always, if you don't like it, I would appreciate the thumbs up anyway. Um, please subscribe and let's see if we're going to go with, there you go, that corner. Yes. Um, and um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks everyone. Have a great night.